Well, hello there. I'm Ari and I get really painful cramps and I take lots of painkillers every month to try to deal with those cramps. But I know that those painkillers can be taxing on your body. And so I want to try some herbal and natural alternatives. And I heard that there's this thing called willow bark. Willow bark has this thing in it called salicin, which was the original active ingredient in aspirin. So I'm gonna try to find this willow bark somewhere and make an herbal tincture out of it to take instead of the regular painkiller I take, which is Advil. I found an herb store that sells willow bark. Tinctures are an alcoholic extract of a plant. And I'm trying to do that with willow bark. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be making my herbal tincture. I have my mark and my menstruum. And my mark is my dry plant material, which is my willow bark. And my menstruum is the liquid I'll be using, which in this case is vodka. And it needs to be a one to five ratio between the two. And I'm gonna combine these. Ooh. Now I just gotta let this sit for a month and then I can use it. My period calendar says that I'm starting my cycle today and I'm starting to feel just the beginnings of, not cramps, but like the pre, like, you know, something's happening in the uterus. It's been four weeks and I'm gonna try my willow bark concoction. So the recipe I'm using called for 30 to 60 drops. I'm just gonna try 30, see how it goes. So I diffuse this in a little bit of water, 30 drops, and I'm gonna try it. It's really mild. I can't taste like anything. If anything, it has like a hint of chamomile tea flavor. Those 30 drops tasted like nothing, and I have really bad cramps, so I'm just gonna go for it and have 60 drops. Some bad news is that the willow bark takes eight hours to work, and I feel like I'm gonna have cramps before then, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. And then I won't wanna tear out my uterus. So my cramps are feeling pretty bad and I'm supposed to go to my friend's play. And I took this willow bark about two hours ago, so I kind of made a mistake. I just should have taken it sooner. But I also am reading that you can take it more if you're feeling symptoms acutely, so I'm just gonna like, Oh, that's more intense when you just take it like that. I guess it's better diluted in water. I'm walking to this play, but I really feel like I need to be laying down. I feel like at this point my Advil would have already kicked in. Um, but to be fair, I still feel cramps on Advil anyway, so. The show's over and I'm feeling really good, actually. I'm like really surprised. I'm home, I'm cozy. Obviously, I still feel like I'm on my period, but I'm getting the same relief that I get from regular painkillers, and that's really cool. And I'm feeling really impressed. I'm feeling a little lethargic and um, crampy, and I'm gonna take some more willow bark, but I'm worried that it's not gonna kick in when I need it to. So that is 60 drops. That's really not that much, and I'm gonna add some water to it. I'm thinking that I took it again too late because I'm just used to Advil where you can take it and then in like 20, 30 minutes, you'll start to feel the relief. So I need to get better about that. But I am confident that it works. It just takes longer. This afternoon, I ended up taking two more dropperfuls of willow bark and throughout the day, my pain was pretty manageable, but it did feel more present than when I'm on regular painkillers. This is my fifth dropper full today, but it's natural, so I don't think I can overdose. I did a good job today taking the tincture far enough in advance, so I feel really good. I would definitely try this again. I'm privileged because my periods are regular and my pain is manageable enough that I can try herbal tinctures. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I really liked how this made me feel and that I can use something natural for my pain.